Did you ever ask yourself how little you know about your own movements? How little you know about what you move when you move? And I guess the answer is no, you haven't, because actually that's a very strange question. Let me show you what I mean by this question. For example, in a side-lying position. You can play along or you can just watch how I demonstrate. You can try it yourself the next time you're in your bed or on a couch in a sideline position. So I'm now on my right side. The left shoulder is on top of the right shoulder. The left hip is on top of the right hip. Sideline position. So the movement I want to talk about is to roll a little bit backwards and to roll a little bit forwards. This would be a movement you use to roll onto your back when you're reading your cell phone or a book and then you roll back onto the side. You know, <laughs> fairly small. This kind of movement, yeah? So when you do this kind of tiny movement, roll more towards the ceiling or the sky and roll more onto your side, how do you do it? What kind of muscles do you employ to, to make this movement happen? That's the question. What do we move when we move? It, it, it functions on its own, right? But what, what do you do? What, what do you do? How little you know about your own movements. How little you know about what you move when you move. So to give you a hint, to start to move onto the back, you can push against the floor with your right arm. So you would initiate this movement with your right elbow, uh, with the shoulder power, with the muscles in your shoulder, you push against and then you will roll over onto your back. Another solution would be to push with your right knee. So you would use your hip muscles to push with the right knee to roll over you would initiate this movement with your hip joint, with the, your buttock muscles. You can try this two, two very distinct movements. Very dis it's, it's easy to feel once you uh, pay attention to what you're doing, either to push with the elbow or to push with the knee or to push with both, a mix. You push with the elbow and you push with the knee. But there's other solutions as well. You could just turn your head and use the weight of your left arm to let you drag backwards. You could use the weight of your left leg to bring the left leg behind and straight to make you fall over onto your back. You see, there's so many solutions to do a simple movement. It's amazing, it's marvelous, it's complicated. I want to invite you to this journey of discovering your movements to learn more about yourself. You will find plenty of lessons and movements to explore in my YouTube channel. Go ahead! My name is Alphonse and I'm a certified Feldenkrais practitioner. I'm looking forward to your explorations, to your feedback, to your engagement in this kind of thinking, in this kind of gathering knowledge about yourself, in this kind of getting more mature about your movements, about yourself in this physical reality.